Okay, here we are into the gravity portion, gravity drive portion of this video. Okay, so basically, in the patent, it talks about, in one of the patents, it talks about how you spin one of the tor toruses slower than the other torus. What that creates is a time dilation effect, which, uh, and you can, you can read this all over the internet, everywhere. Uh, it has to do with general relativity, um, uh, special, special relativity, uh, time dilation, and gravity. So what this does, okay, is that when they're spinning one, usually the bottom one, slower than the top one, it creates a time dilation effect between these two spinning masses. And uh, what that creates is a gravitational field basically, uh, around this object, and everything in the room will start floating around. Now, how does it do that? Uh, it, what it is, is this is also like a little cellular radio, where, or, I mean, proton radio, I guess you can call it, where it spins the proton so fast in the objects around it uh, that it activates its gravitational quanta, where it begins to basically lift against the gr Earth's gravity. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, that's the secret to the gravity drive portion of it. Uh, it creates an energy density gradient in the vacuum around itself. Um, and when you have the, uh, uh, when you have the, uh, uh, time dilation effect, gravity is also, uh, and, and traditionally what they'll say is that, uh, time di time dilation affects gravity or gravity affects time they're interchangeable just like the electromagnetic spectrum is inter is the electric and magnetic fields can be can create each other uh, so um, now what are they doing with this pretty much nothing they're, they're pretty much just uh, let's see Let's see, uh, about, um, maybe it's in the about section here. What they're doing with this is that they're putting it in a giant Faraday cage, um, which, uh, oh, I guess it's not going to let me do it. Um, they're putting it in a giant Faraday cage, which, uh, they can recollect the radio frequency energy that comes off of it wirelessly also. So in that way, um, you can be creating uh, electricity while the gravity effect is also taking place. Um, now, let's see. Uh -huh. Here we go. Let's go to the experimental containers. that they have and of course they're all experiments and there's no inventions they're they're, they're just researching you know uh, but of course these technologies have large implications and you could see here that they're on these stilts that'll have sensors on them uh, to detect any uh, of the uh, uh, gravitational effects as it uh, as it affects the the ship here um, so in these back in this back area is where the uh, the uh, gravity drive will be located and it's a giant copper room I've been inside it it's got a radio frequency filter and everything it's pretty cool um, and uh, this part here is the passenger would be the passenger bay uh, per se so um, I don't know if they're going to link all these together and make one big ship with three different drives together, or maybe it's just one drive. Not sure. Not sure. Uh, I know that they are going to be building, uh, that they are building a ship, though. Um, so, and uh, these are their, you know, what they're starting with here. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a short video on this to kind of show um, what the real uh, function of this device is 
And uh, th these, you know, I, I back engineered this uh, here with some engineers in the military under uh, Revolution Green here. Um, these are just a, a group of random people that submit uh, free energy stuff uh, to this blog. It's very interesting. I recommend that you uh, go and check it out. Revolution Green LLC. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to uh, tell you guys uh, what this is, how it works. This is a ultraviolet laser, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, um, you know, I haven't seen anybody else uh, try to reverse engineer this or uh, anything like that. And of course. Uh, Nassim has been keeping it close to his chest because I'm sure he's gotten a national security order or he's just greedy. Who knows? I don't know, Nassim. Why don't you uh, comment on that for us? Um, even though you did in your water memory uh, YouTube video where you stated that uh, if you release these technologies, a lot of people are going to die. Um, and uh, just on the other hand here... Um, you know, I want to give a, a you know talk about the energy side of this, where um, basically you see these ribs or whatever. Once once it gets up to speed, okay, and uh, there's a the double torus is you know is spinning counter rotating. It's like water going down the drain. Okay, the, the the gravity creates the vortex and and uh, allows the energy or the I mean sorry the water to flow down the drain uh, and depending on which hemisphere you're on it goes left or right or clockwise or counterclockwise um, and uh, you know once you spin you spin that around and it gets going the the gravity or the vacuum sustains it. Um, and because this is a recirculating geometry, it's recursive, it doesn't uh, ever go anywhere except for back onto itself. And uh, so um, this, this uh, geometric solution to quantum gravity is, is uh, uh, you know, something that's <laughs> that needs to be implemented in the black projects, especially Raytheon, where they've been irradiating their pilots since the 60s, uh, not only from the nuclear, you know, <laughs> uh, um, uh, reactors that they have on these these uh, craft, but also due to the Van Allen belt radiation and whatnot, they still haven't been able to shield it. Um, now, I don't know how this will affect the Van Allen belt radiation, but it definitely is going to be uh, a lot less nuclear. <laughs> than some of the reactors on these ships. Um, now, that's one of the reasons why I'm disclosing this, uh, just in case anybody's using nuclear reactors on their craft, to go ahead and stop doing that, uh, because it's not it's no longer necessary. Um, of course, you know, Nassim and this group, Taurus Tech, they are a private organization, um, totally private. So, you know, we can't ask them to uh, come out and tell us their trade secrets. We're going to have to get in there and find out what they're doing. Uh, and this goes along with, with them and any other corporation that has technologies that can and will affect the uh, face of our society. Um, again, these technologies have absolutely no, uh, no oversight. Um, these are just kind of a bunch of rich people... Uh, building this stuff and uh, you know there's there's nobody to, to to you know regulate it as it were except for of course the deep black which I'm sure Nassim and his whole family have been threatened already over this uh, but it's uh, been this has been developed for a long time it's been working for a long time any uh, anything that they say that it's not uh, is a complete lie so <clears throat> just to let you know and you know I I did this I did this work uh, in order to to show everybody uh, what's possible you know what's possible what isn't um, 
I understand that, you know, when you got uh, national security and, uh, uh, you know, corporate secrets and all that to maintain, um, I don't have any of those. So um, I'm free to go ahead and talk about this. And I hope that, you know, a lot of you will appreciate it. So we got the water going down the drain endlessly, endlessly. As long as these lasers and this compression is in place, these uh, ribs will output electricity. Um, and when you do the time dilation, it will, it, it will create gravity. Um, now, uh, Robert Grant, he, uh, he knows about this technology, keeping it secret also. Uh, they did a demonstration for him in his office, which used to be Walter Russell's office, um, coincidentally. Um, uh, and uh, they, uh, I saw a video of you know them turning it on and everything in the room start floating around. So uh, it definitely does work. Um, and uh, they definitely have set up an entire corporation around this technology and also the Arc Crystal which they uh, did release despite having said they would dissolve the resonance project and everything had been private. I, I got on after everything had gotten private at that point. Um, and, uh, but of course, uh, you know, they did, the resonance project caught wind and was able to force the release of the crystal um, because this has also been developed for a long time also. I've held this in my hand long, long before uh, they were even talking about releasing it. Uh, they took this battery to Raytheon and they almost got themselves killed. And that's when all the trouble started for Nassim and crew, uh, particularly Mark Hines. So, um, yeah, I, uh, and there's the address and everything's on the website, all the information. They, they only released 200 crystals at $1,200 a piece. Um, as a jewelry, right? Um, it takes 200 crystals to make a battery like a car battery that doesn't run out of electricity. This it runs at eight hertz. Uh, one hertz over a specific length of conductor is one volt. So you're gonna have uh, 7.83 volts on each uh, on each crystal, and the uh, ca copper or platinum. Uh, uh, cages around them uh, will create will then go ahead and create the voltage from the resonance uh, being emitted from the crystal which is at the same geometry of the earth so it's always resonating it's always vibrating um, so they released they did release it but not enough to actually make a battery um, but uh, yeah so there's just that little tidbit there um, I just want to go ahead and just show everybody uh, what's going on with this technology of course, uh, we have lots of other stuff to, to go through, but uh, the, the, the main focus of uh, this video is uh, the electromagnetohydrodynamic simulator, or as I like to call it, the gravity drive. And they call it the gravity drive also, just in private. Um, now, you might be asking, oh, well, you know, why are you telling all these secrets and blah, 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 blah? Well, it's because these people's hands are tied. Um, and whether they want to admit it or not, their technology is never going to reach the public. This is about as public as it's going to get on this website here uh, with, with the uh, patents and the drawings and the whatnot. Uh, I'm sure they'll go ahead and take your money for investing and everything like that, but uh, this is never going to see the public um, because, uh, like Nissim said in the water video, the water memory video, <laughs> where he's wearing the blue shirt, that if they release these technologies, a lot of people are going to die. Well, that's because a lot of people are going to kill a lot of other people if they release these technologies because basically they don't want to let go of control. And uh, that's pretty much apparent. Um, from what I've been able to uh, discover in my investigations, um, this project uh, is being overseen by the Rothschild family. Uh, this and other projects that Nassim brings to them. So. From what I've gathered, the Resonance Project is a data mining uh, operation uh, to extract the intellectual property of our nation um, and uh, then privatize it 
um, and most of the people that have come forward after I've done my initial disclosure on the New Energy Concepts Group webpage um, is, uh, you know, has the similar stories. Um, and in fact, uh, what they'll do is they'll have you give all their information without paying you a dime, and then their, their patent uh, lawyer, Wayne, will go ahead and patent it right out from under you, because they have hundreds of millions of dollars. They can just go ahead and just do that. And uh, if you ever try to <laughs> patent your idea or whatever, they'll just come in with a national security order, tell you to shut up, or sue you, or who knows what. Um, very few people have even gotten to that point because of the suppression um, that uh, is being done by this group and others. Um, so, uh, yeah, while dealing with this company, this corporation, Mark Hines and Thrival Tech and Taurus Tech and all these guys and sending them all my information and my research, you know, basically, because I, you know, I was like, hey, these guys can do something with it. I was shot in my home three days after I uh, showed my discovery of a new force within the electrostatic field, which is the other half of all this research here because it, it also includes the, the double torus that's counter-rotating. And you can see some, uh, some of those oil videos on uh, on this YouTube channel. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all I got for that. Um, the next video is gonna uh, be covering the Tab One um, yeah, of Tachyon Aerospace, um, and this is a Rothschild. Or I'm sorry, a Rockefeller funded uh, group here by Impact X, which is funded by David Rockefeller. Um, so we got the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers going going head to head for the race for space. Um, I actually like Robert, uh, the the scientist here. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Um, and you know, when you get into these levels of technologies, you're going to be dealing with these with these large elite families uh, that have the resources because nobody else does. They have a monopoly on the resources to be able to. Uh, to launch these types of, of projects and so um, you know it's it's up to us to be able to get into these projects and, and find out what they're doing and have public oversight uh, whether it be just between us on the internet here um, you know that yeah you know, I don't see how the government getting involved is gonna do anything since uh, they pretty much run the government so Anyways, uh, that's my video. I was trying to make it short. Didn't mean to ramble on, but uh, there, there's a lot of important uh, issues concerning these technologies. This is not the next iPhone, okay? This is, you know, <laughs> which is more secret than, than a lot of the, uh, you know, some of the military stuff we got going on. Uh, but yeah, this is this is not the next iPhone. This is not something that needs to be handled by a group of elite, a small supposedly self-elite people. Um, this this needs to be uh, out to the public. This needs to be uh, talked amongst uh, professionals and uh, lay researchers alike, um, so that we can all decide what we want to do with our society instead of what these technocrats have. Uh, uh, plan for us and I guarantee you it has nothing to do with what you want so anyways that's it